Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. It's your girl Carolina Sanchez, and we got the guys and girls over, okay? Because it's a girl versus guys night, and we're diving into cheating. What exactly is it? What's okay? Do you do it? Mm, I'm judging you. Let's get into it. All right, well, unfortunately, you can see we haven't taken our Christmas decorations down. And so here to judge me are my friends, Nitra, Jacob, Brandy, and AD. Wow, wow, I mean, wow. are y'all upset that Christmas is still up even though we no. in the new year? No, no never. So, so when, when, when should they go up? The 20th of January, after, after uh, Martin Luther King Day. After Martin Luther That's King. That's the next holiday. Hmm. Okay, that's when they need to be They up. need to come down and you need to replace it with Black History stuff because it's coming. Okay. So what do, what do we put up for Black History Month? Black heroes, you know, there, there's tons of us. Black Angela Panther. Davis. Well, yeah. even Black Panther can go up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just got to have some Black History represented in the house. <laughs> I'm saying. That's all you need. That's I all you need. You only, I think you should take it down once you get your W-2 statement. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm messing with that one. the 30th of January. You know, they wait. 30, I thought sometimes people get it on the 1st. Oh. It depends if you got dependents or not. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it can taste <laughs> No time. kids, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a job. Okay, well, let's get into some more depressing <laughs> oh. things, like cheating. Do you want to know how to do it, or? Oh, sure, how does one cheat? I don't know, you just start. <laughs> <laughs> you just start. You have one, and then you decide to pick up, you know, another, and then you don't tell them about each other. That's just how it's done. This it's sounds like you've got experience, Nitra. I'm a, you know what, a piece of advice my grandmother always told me, she always said to keep a little change in your pocket. So <laughs> keep a little change in your you pocket. You never know when you may need to make a phone call, <laughs> a quick switch. You just All right, we, we The other one giving a peace sign it. to the dude behind. <laughs> what? So she knows how to get away with cheating. But how not, do we feel about look, cheating? Not Clearly anymore. she's okay I'm on with TV it. saying it. <laughs> Shout out to all of y'all. <laughs> Joke on you. <laughs> <laughs> so how do y'all feel about cheating? Oh, you know, it, it was a thrill in my twenties. It was a real, it was a real thrill. Right. To go know. through it and be cheated on or to cheat? Oh, both. You know oh. what I mean? That toxic toxicity gotta be equal sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. You know, I'm gonna add on to what Nietzsche said. My daddy said sometimes you gotta, you know, go get your body body in another county. You know what I mean? Get your body <laughs> in another <laughs> county. I am learning so much this evening. Well, you know what they say is a different area when outside your zip code. Oh, so. you could you could cheat in Edo and not be cheating in Missouri City. <gasps> they say area code. Okay. We go All right, Brandy, codes. come on. Let me speak like uh -huh. <laughs> I I do not condone it presently. But yes, yes, back in my 20s, yeah, I, I definitely had a lot of fun cheating. You had fun cheating. Why would you have fun I, cheating? I, I, it's just you can, because you can do it, you get away with it's it. It's, 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 it's the sneakest element, it's the excitement. So freak? You can, I yeah, can't that like you can get caught, you don't get caught, you getting away with it. It's mysterious, you know, women are sneaky, that's why they call mm -hmm. us cats, men, dogs. You know, Ooh, women are really sneaky. Well, I guess like I'm just going to stay in the porch because I have never <laughs> cheated. You've never cheated. No, it's like you don't cheat on accident. You cheat because you wanted to. It's an action. Mm. No, I don't believe That's why that. We admitted it. No, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. know. I just, but not my anymore. Cheating, my that cheating was actually girl. a learned cheating. behavior. I got cheated on so bad that I was like, you know what? This is not going to happen again so I got to it's a learned behavior I learned how to do it from one of the best shout out to you you know who you are and so mm. you cheat first now I do I, I come to the situation already <laughs> loaded you don't, you know like, you don't wow. feel that it's like just like a lack of communication where you can just like have that conversation with your partner? I mean when I feel like it's right you know what I'm saying I'll, I'll die off what you know I'll, I'll take stuff off the shelf when it's time yeah. but not until it's time Okay, so then subjectively, what what would you consider cheating against you? Uh, cheating against me, uh, the first two things you named, I think that just uh, the sexting. Uh, co-workers, y'all gonna be cute together, you know what I mean? I just make sure I gotta have a job where I have a work wife, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I, I'm not on the retaliation type of side, but you ain't gonna have more, than, more fun than me. Nah, you ain't gonna do that. You ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Brandy? So ain't no fun if the homie can't have none. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no entertaining a, another situation to me, like, um, I feel like you, the sexting, inappropriate conversations, uh, going out on dates, mm. any like kissing, touching, to me that's cheating. So outside of, yes, the intimate relationship part, absolutely. Mm. 
Jake? I agree. It's uh, the uh, experience that you have with someone else that you would like to have. And um, one time I went to Africa and when I came back and um, found out that my girlfriend was cheating on me. Oh. And uh, right now they, uh, they have a kid, they're married. So wow. that cheating, I'm like, you know what? You're forgiven. I, I get it. You know, sometimes you find love in other places and mm. to her, you know, it wasn't more than just cheating. It was, you know, finding your significant other. Oh, wow. And so that's whenever I was like, you know what? We're forgiven and we're friends. Like, I, mean, I get it. Jacob, you are. different continent. Wow. How about you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's forgivable because he was on a different continent? I mean, continent? he was in a that's whole different time zone. That's what she did say, the zip code. Yeah. Was I was in a Missouri City. I was in <laughs> Joburg. <laughs> and that's what she said. She's like, you're gone yeah. a lot. Yeah. And I get it. That's just a viable I mean, that's Yeah, so it's, it's forgiven. You were leaving a lot or it was just one period of time where you were gone? I, it was back and forth. Sure, 10 years. I'm oh, always wow. over there. Okay, no, 10 Whoa. years. Oh, oh, no, we didn't date for 10 years. I'm just, that's just where I'm always at. Oh, so then why you in this truck? No, it ain't my business. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. I'm going to have to go. You guys know we're practicing dry January here on the nightcap. So we have Veronica who brought some kombucha that we're going to actually dive into. Hey. Coming up after the break. Welcome back to the nightcap. We've been talking about cheating and what, what we're not going to do this dry January on Trishel and V is cheat on dry January. All right. We're not right. consuming any alcohol <laughs> this month. Set we're going to stay strong, right? Set the goal. And so you didn't bring any you know, alcohol here. He brought kombucha. Kombucha. Woo. So uh -oh. it's a whole setup for me. But I need you guys to know. I know we're doing dry January and all of the above, but um, when you are stopping something, one must not stop cold turkey because that's how you have um, setbacks. So kombucha does have less than 0.5% alcohol. So we're going to win you, we're going to take you slow. It's a slow okay. grind off the alcohol, okay? okay. So get into it. So we it. are cheating? We're not cheating. Is we're this just cheating? A little, just, a, just a little bit. All right, what's your brain, V? All right, so first of all, let me just say, it's a whole setup around here. New year, new setup, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the peoples was telling me about the kombucha and I said kombuhu <laughs> I'm like what what we got going on so I said let me try it let me let my girls in so we gonna see what it do so I'm excited wait are you telling me you've never tried this no oh okay. y'all know okay so so nightcap friends show? this is gonna be listen. it ain't safe get but ready. let's get it to wait it. you haven't either I have but see? I'm gonna let y'all okay let's go oh, this let's is go. gonna be so good all right so we have five different flavors up here y'all know I'm a flavor girl of I love course. all the flavors mm -hmm. right so this is sparkling probiotic kombucha um, cola, fountain cola. Okay, all right, here we go. Wow, look, I'm nervous, y'all said nervous. It's gonna taste like cola, I think. Right, I mean, everybody uh, needs a good strong Coke, okay. so let's see what and, this be like. And you know, Coke Do you is, like Coke? I love Coke. Okay. Do you? I, that's my favorite. Every day, a Coke right. a day. What are my favorite? Cheers. 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 My absolute. Why am I so nervous? Oh my goodness. Okay, fountain cola. Verona King! Tell me that doesn't taste like Coca Cola! Oh, it this does. really does taste like Coke! Oh, no, I mean, it doesn't! It, it tastes, tastes like nasty! The this store brand like, Coke! No, the store this brand tastes Coke. like the watered down Coke when you leave your mm -hmm. ice in your Coca Cola in this. No! Mm, it's, it's got a little nasty. sparkliness to it. It tastes like an off brand Cola. That's nasty! I can Nobody take it, I can that. dig it. I am not a Coca-Cola drinker. Yeah. Drink, uh, but this is, that was Coca-Cola. Yeah, down. had Water a nice down. little yeah. mildness. But remember, it's dry January, so you can't be expected to be all hard now. Give me right? You can't be all hard. You <laughs> can't be hard liquor. What we drinking now, Vince? Okay, okay this one here is Citrus Rush. Okay. Ooh, that sounds kind of exotic. It sounds like we're going to the island mine. Yes. Citrus it's, Rush. I'm thinking of oranges. I'm thinking of lemons. I'm thinking of all of that. Oh, all right, cheers, cheers, ladies. Right. All right, Citrus. Mmm. It's like Verona a rum can. It's like a wannabe Seven Up. Yeah, exactly. See, spray. It we're tapping into like our drinks. A watered down tank. A Barana can. This was good. This is, this is I good. like our taste. Yeah. Good. Okay. You have to think dry January. Mm -hmm. You can't expect it to be hoard like I was saying. And yeah. that's just supposed to be healthy for you, right? Which is supposed to be right. flavor. Where's the flavor? Why everything healthy tastes nasty? Well, that's just the way it is. Okay. Honey. Okay. This one here is, oh, luscious cream. Okay. Ooh. I like the cream soda. I mean, I come on, luscious cream. Like 
I'm you ready. Uh-oh, this is going to be fun. You don't? Man. Okay, good. Watch this might be the one All right. I like. I hope so. Me too. Let's just cream. If Come Carolina on. doesn't like it, I'm sure she likes it. I have let's not see. been let down so it far. It smell good. Cheers. All right, on cheers. Come on, luscious. Give me the luscious. Oof, no. Mm -mm. It's nasty. Ugh, Verona can't. Mm -mm. It's nasty. Mm -mm. I told y'all. I told It's nasty. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. I'm gonna give it as two. I'm gonna give it as two. It's giving eight. me the big red soda. It tastes like Wanna big be. red and it make my tongue dry. Right. It tastes like, like it. the big red soda. It is it's not it's uh -uh. not crisp. but it's like, you know, two uh -uh. days after. Yes, it's a flat soda. It. It's flat, flat nasty big red. Big red. Uh -uh. Okay. All right, fourth flavor. Ooh, spicy cherry berry. Ooh. Y'all think y'all gonna like that one? Spicy no, maybe. cherry berry. Veronica, can you make it sound so I'm good? I'm trying right? to, honey. Spicy Just a cherry berry. Cherry that means berry. We gotta expect to get all three That's of those spicy. Spicy cherry, cherry berry. Cherry. Wait. All right. Cheers. Let's do it. Okay. okay. All right. Ooh. This is better. But it tastes like Kroger black cherry. That means the off-brand soda you bring to the cookout that don't nobody drink. That's what it tastes uh -uh. like. And it's not even Kroger. It tastes like Fiesta. The Why are you hating on Fiesta mm -mm. right now? I'm just saying it's the cheap ones that don't have a name on it. Mm -mm. It's not I'm the judging name brand. Her. It's she nasty. Is throwing Fiesta down. Mm -hmm. I said Kroger too. Ugh, transparent moment. Okay, I can taste the cherry, but it tastes like <laughs> diet <laughs> cherry. <laughs> and I don't taste any yes, berry. I can in taste it. the cherry. That's the only flavor I can taste. Honestly, it tastes I don't like no one. I don't taste Dr. like a pepper, spice. which I don't enjoy. Mm -mm. It's just, mm -mm, it's not giving. No, ladies, mm -mm. no. Okay, no. we're gonna move on to our last flavor then. Good, it's the spice last one. cherry berry. Y'all didn't do that right. All right, V. Ooh, new fashioned root beer. Not old fashioned. New fashioned root beer. Man. Ooh. I'm hoping. And I'm a root beer ghoul. Okay. Okay, I'm a ghoul. Oh, I am not on. a root beer girl. I am. Mm. So I let's will see. say. Ed, root the Ed Experience made a Ooh. root beer old fashioned. Did you taste it without it? And I no. loved it. Still my favorite cocktail to date made I on the love. show. Really? I, and, uh, I remember that. It's the only time I like root beer. I'm not a fan right. of root beer. So. Cheers, ladies. Okay. Why am I nervous? Okay, mm, this is the last mm, one. Mm, mm, Save mm. the best for last, they say. This is mm. nasty. Oh, that's disgusting, bro. This is nasty, y'all. This is nasty. This oh. is the worst. <laughs> Oh, y'all! This is red. this is disgusting. Oh. I'm fainting. Oh, no. I'm fainting. She's it's going disgusting. down. There's, Veronica can't. Yeah, this is nasty. This is nasty. Mm -mm. What kind of flavor is this? Why you end on the bad one? Absolutely. Oh, oh my god. Bring me the old school oh. root beer. This is new too much, mm -hmm. and it got a nasty like tingle oh. in the middle of your tongue. Right. We're gonna have oh. to recover from this. So, mm -hmm. Veronica right can't times three. Mm -mm. Oh. No kombucha right. for me. We'll <laughs> see y'all after the break. Oh, that was gross. <laughs> I still got that taste in my mouth of the root beer from that kombucha. Mm -mm. If you want to see some more about that and learn a little bit more about kombucha, Entrechelle and V are actually going to be on our social media talking a little bit more about it. So go there behind the scenes for that. And actually, ladies, I didn't get to ask y'all, how do y'all define cheating? Darling, cheating is the, the strong desire to have sex, okay? It's period. It is, I'm telling you, all you want to do is have sex. Now, you want to have sex with somebody that you like or you're having sex with somebody who you are, who is meeting an unmet need that's in your relationship. Ooh. That's what the definition of cheating is. Cheating is also the opportunity to be with someone that you may have never had a chance to be with. That's what cheating is and what cheating is all about, opportunity. V, v, you have some strong feelings. No, I'm just saying cheating is like a physical, it's an action, mm. you know, so <clears throat> flirting, some people consider flirting as cheating. No, it's just a flirt. There was no action behind it, right? Mm. So I consider it as an action. If you kiss somebody, if you have sex with them, whether it be oral sex or penetration, it is cheating. And some people say, oh, we cheat emotionally. Yes, but that's the but worst thing true. a woman can do is cheat Cheats. emotionally. Right. Yes. Because, because that's long term. Yeah, men mm. are, men are physical, women are emotional. Emotional cheating is still in the same yep. category. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, all right, we're back here on the couch. <laughs> we got Nitra, Jacob, Brandy, and AD. So, how do y'all feel about that? 
physical cheating versus emotional cheating. Hmm. It's still cheating. But it's still cheating. It's still cheating. I mean, it's does still. it hurt the same either way? It I think does so. hurt. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts worse with emotional. I think yeah. it hurts worse with. No, nah, it hurts with the physical. That's yeah. so. Nitra that, and Brandy, the emotional is actually more significant for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely to me because you have that connection with somebody. Right. Like you're, this is like you got your, your feelings, your thoughts, your wishes, desires going into this person, mm -hmm. and that's a lot of exchange too because people might think that's you know sexting or anything, but that that's a connection that you have with somebody like on another level because then you get into compatibility also. Mm. Like now I'm more compatible with this person emotionally. Um, they know everything about me. I can cry on their shoulder as opposed to, hey, we just doing this physically. No, no, emotional to me hurts because now I feel like you and I are disconnected and now you're more so connected with this other person. I think they're like equal. You know what I'm saying? Like in terms of like emotional like mm -hmm. connection, it's yeah, you know, it's it's something that can easily be kind of cut off and they're gonna still have that. But when you have sex, now that's a connection because it's a physical a physical act in itself. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have a guy cheat on me physically than emotionally. I would rather, um, definitely f I would rather physical because to me, I've, I've met a lot of guys, um, even my boyfriend now, they always say, if I get your mind, I got you. Mm -hmm. Like anybody mm -hmm. can just sleep with somebody, and, but I mean, that's still soul ties also, but that's the, the quote that gets me a lot. Once I get your mind, then I just got you because that's, a, that's why people call it mind control. I've been cheated on both ways. Like mm -hmm. I've had a guy who flew to Vegas and what stayed in, what happened in Vegas didn't stay in Vegas, I found out. So it was like a one night mm. thing, right? So I was cheated on that way, that hurt. But then I've also been cheated on where it was emotional. There was a lot of the texting right. and it's intimate, right? It's like, so how was your day today? Good morning, things like that. That hurt a lot deeper because, as you said, it's a lot more intimate. Right. Especially when y'all don't do that. You know what I'm right. saying? Like if, if y'all, you know how sometimes in a relationship it can get real mundane and y'all don't do what y'all used to do yeah. with and to each other and then they start doing it with somebody else and it's like, well, well I want a good morning queen Me text too. too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I really think that the, the, the mental is... Is, is way worse. But I think what we can tally back to is uh, earlier in the, the, the conversation about like being 20 and being 30 cheating. True. Because mm. when the 20 is always like the physical aspect, especially mm. being a man, like it, it's, it's fresh, it's, you know, like we spoke earlier, it's the thrill of yes, it. Yes, it is. Uh, but when you turn 30, it's a lot more emotional, it's a lot more mental because things are, I well, for me, it's all off spiritual connection. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The energy, <clears> you <throat> know. Now, how, how I feel amongst you, and sometimes, you know, you got to sometimes peep game and realize and be aware, especially with, if you have somebody such as a woman, like myself, I have a woman, and another woman is pursuing me, you know, in the cheating aspect, some women just find purpose in ruining what you have. Oh, mm. that's true. That's so true. You have don't to, be ruining things. You know, so that's what people find more things to do is to find purpose and to ruin what they envy, you know. And that and, comes and into I, mind control, because if I can get your mind to <clears> get on me, Guess what, Debo? I, I got your mind control. I got you. Mm -hmm. you well, know, like I said, for twenty, you showing it all out. Thirties, uh, you you can say certain words a certain type of way. You know how to approach right. approach a certain situation or conversation or a uh, conflict between you and your significant other that I can mend you. I can make you feel better with my words that will cause you to come over physically. Well, in your forties, you just tired. You ain't. <laughs> <laughs> you you just like I'm I don't I, look I gotta go to work in the morning. You just tired. You we don't take a nap together. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, you don't take a nap right now. When we come back, I'm gonna ask the question. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Mm. Welcome back to the nightcap. We've been talking about cheating, and everyone here has cheated except for Jacob. Good guy. So hey. I need to know, once a cheater, always a cheater? No. no. I mean, like, just because you went skiing once in Aspen doesn't mean you're a skier. <laughs> Facts. I mean, there's redemption. Is, is there redemption within the same relationship? Ooh. Oh, no. possibly. You know what? Okay. Once there's a crack in, in, your, in the glass, it's always flawed from there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not the same. So mm -hmm. that's why you should drink out of plastic solos. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> plastic solos, one. the ladies behind the bar. Mm -mm. Yay, nay? No. Yes! Mm -mm. Yes! No. Yes, you can no. find redemption in a relationship after it's flawed no. because we are perfectly flawed together. It's always going to be in the back of my mind what you've done to me. But Everything won't be the same. Gone. I want to just move on. I forgive you, but we good. 
it. You have to go into it with a new thing. No. AD, what, what are your thoughts? You were you were saying yes to what I'm saying. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> it, it, you, you can find redemption, because uh, with me, if he wasn't better than me, you, we can redeem this, baby. We can redeem. Are you asking for redemption? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I mean? We can work this out. <laughs> listen, buy me listen. Some shoes or no, 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 no. <laughs> all right, listen, don't, don't cheat, all right? If you're going to cheat, you might as well just tell your significant other, your partner, I'm not into you. Or let's open the relationship. You do you, boo-boo, I'ma do me. We can have the jokers all up in this house and call it a day, all right? Well, happy New Year's to y'all. Cheers for joining us on this conversation. We wanna know, so hit us up on social. What do you consider cheating? Cheers to y'all. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Y'all come over here. Missed out on the nightcap? Well, head on over to our YouTube page and catch up with Carolina. You can watch full episodes anytime you want. And don't forget to share it with your friends because we got to keep the conversation flowing. Mm. So this one is not going to hurt as much as this one. Watch the nightcap at 1130 on Fox 26 and anytime on Fox Soul.